So how do we help someone who has a broken arm or a broken bone or leg or something like that? Howdy, I'm Kiram, Chief Medical Officer at Polaris, and I'm gonna give you some tips today on how to save lives. Let's do it. So while broken bones aren't necessarily a life-threatening situation, you do wanna do something for the person because it's really uncomfortable, it's very painful, and uh, it's just hard to not do something for someone who has a broken bone. So our guy here doesn't have any, so I'll use my arm. But the idea is you wanna immobilize uh, the broken body part. If it can move, then it can hurt. We don't want it to move. So let's say I broke this arm here. Well, we wanna make sure I can't move it. So we actually have to make a rigid, um, take something and make it rigid going from the joint to the joint. So when you're splinting a bone, and splint, by the way, um, is what we call the action of fixing a rigid object to the, to the broken uh, uh, bone or joint. It's called splinting. And if it's a broken bone, we need to go from joint to joint. Notice I can't now move this bone anymore because it's all, I'm going from this wrist to the elbow, right? Um, if I only splinted the bone right here, well, if I move my wrist, guess what? It's going to pull on that bone. If I move my elbow, guess what? It's going to pull on that broken bone. So we've got to immobilize the joints as well. So remember that when you're splinting bones, you've got to do the joint below and above as well. So we've got my arm. Let's just make it nice and make a little handle with it like that. Okay. And then we've got it. Now this won't do, we need to affix it. So we've got some bandage here that we would wrap. Okay. So you just take a little bit of it wrapped around the thumb, right? And then you start it right here and you just work your way up, right? Now we could take our time and make this nice and clean, but I don't think we'll do that today just for the sake of the demonstration. But you see what I'm doing. I'm feeding it all the way up. If you were to actually normally do this, you'd want to have these all spread out nicely. But for the sake of this demo, do that, tie it off at the end, right? And now I've splinted, right? I've attached this rigid object to the broken bone. You want to be nice and tight when you're doing these, okay? And then now that I can't move the arm, I suddenly feel relief because, um, you know, if you can move it, it can hurt. So remember that when you're splinting a bone, joint to joint, if you're splinting a joint, go bone to bone. So if I broke a joint, right, elbow, I need to make sure this orange thing goes all the way up from my upper arm to my lower arm. So think with that. If you're splinting a joint, right, elbows, wrists, go from bone to bone. If you're splinting a bone, go from joint to joint, okay? And um, if you have a leg that needs to be splinted, you're gonna need a lot more than something like this. You might need a broom handle and, um, you know, something long and rigid this might be too flimsy. You might need like five of these because your legs are so big. All right, so that is how to splint a broken bone.